Y'all, it is my favorite time of year. I love the winter. It's full of some of my favorite things. So, I have a question for you. Take seven seconds to share your answers with your home group. Are you ready? What is the first thing that pops into your mind when I say Christmas? Presents, decorations, baking cookies, um, gifts, spending time with family, ornaments, decorating the trees, fireplaces, twinkle lights, presents, what else? Hmm. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I really like Christmas. Maybe you're like me and right away you thought about Christmas gifts. Now, there is a lot of pressure when it comes to gifts because I wanna get each person the perfect thing. And I'm not just talking about Christmas gifts, just gifts in general. One of my favorite gifts I've ever given was organizing a surprise 50 birthday party for my mom. My sisters and I made a list of all of her closest friends, coworkers, and family members and sent out invites months in advance. The week of the party, we scrubbed the house and we went grocery shopping for some of her favorite foods, fresh watermelon, pasta salad, and of course, a big chocolate cake. The day of the party, we decorated the backyard. We hung string lights from tree to tree. We had candles lit. We had seating for guests. We even set up cornhole and a bonfire. My dad had bought my mom a kayak as a gift, something she really wanted, and set it strategically around the side of the house so she couldn't see it. I remember the moment my mom walked into our backyard, the surprise on her face, but the, also the joy at seeing all of her friends there to celebrate her on her 50th birthday. She had some relatives travel hours to come see her on her special day. I was so thrilled because not everyone loves surprise parties, but especially to see the love everyone has for my mom. Now, I don't tell you this to tell you how awesome I am at giving gifts or planning parties. Being generous doesn't have to be a big sacrifice. Being generous and giving from the heart, oftentimes we end up receiving way more in return. It feels good to be generous. We get a sense of joy, satisfaction, and this knowledge that we made someone else happy. It feels good to be generous. And God made us to live generously. In 2 Corinthians, Paul is writing to the people of Corinth and says we should give cheerfully and not reluctantly. He writes, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided to give in your heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. You see, God's not a fan of fake generosity, giving something because you have to, or giving out of guilt. Fake generosity isn't what God wants. So here's my invitation to you. This Christmas, when gifts may be the first thing that you think of, I'm challenging you to live with joyful generosity, the kind that comes from the heart because of your love for others. You can make this Christmas different from all the others. This Christmas can be about more than money or gifts. Perhaps this Christmas you spend more time with the people that you love. Maybe you serve someone else or you make something. They will for sure appreciate the time you put into creating something just for them. Living generously has nothing to do with what you can afford and everything to do with your heart. You were made to live generously and you'll receive way more in return than you ever gave away.